So, back when I had my muffler put on, I got two new tires. These ones up here. And when I did, we found out this rim back here was bent pretty bad from when I had that accident back at the beginning of the year. So I started doing some research to find a new rim. And uh, for a stock Frontier rim, just like this, it was like 200 bucks. So I did some looking on Craigslist, and I found some new rims. The same size as mine. They're, well, they're a whole lot wider. They're ten and a half inches wide, and got them for 175. So today I took my truck down to a shop to have them put on, and we put one tire on to test fit it. Uh, they look really good, but because of the offset, they have like a four-inch offset, and these have no offset. It just about well, it hits back here when I turn so we had to put the old rim back on so that really irritates me because I don't want to sell those rims because they're wicked nice plus I don't know if I'll be able to sell them but I was talking to this kid I know and he said that we could do a hockey puck lift instead of buying a lift kit because they're like 300 bucks just go out and get some hockey pucks and you put them in there as spacers instead of like a uh, it's just like a regular body lift but with hockey pucks instead which I don't mind cause, you know hockey pucks pretty strong I don't think it's gonna break apart on you or anything cause like I really wanna put those rims on cause they looked really nice and I, I loved it so I wanna use them but I don't wanna spend another 400 bucks on a lift kit to lift it and I don't think it would be too hard to do a hockey puck lift. So give me your thoughts on that if you've ever like lifted a car. What you think, you know, if you think that would be alright to do. Maybe something. So give me your thoughts on what you think about doing a hockey puck lift. If you think that would be a good idea, bad idea. Maybe some other suggestions. Because I, I suggested the guy cutting out the uh, fender so it would fit. But, I know there's no fender over here, but that's not going to give you too much more clearance because there's still this piece here that sticks out and that that'll probably hit when you turn. So pretty much like the only thing you can really do is a body lift. The guy at the shop said two inch body lift and you should be alright. It should clear it. Plus another thing is my torsion bars are just shot. They're um, cranked all the way as high as they'll go. I got this big bumper on the front, so that brings it down a little bit more. I mean, I don't think it'd be too hard to do a hockey puck lift. I got one mount there, mount there, and there for the cab, and then there's a few on the bed. So I think it might be doable. The only thing I'm not sure about is the, uh, the steering. So right down there is the uh, steering part. Like if you buy a professional kit, it comes with a uh, an extension. Cause I don't know. It looks like I could maybe unbolt it back here. Let me get my hand down here. Unbolt it right back in here and put like a, a wash, a couple washers or something to extend that a little bit. Cause I don't, I don't think it would need to be extended too much because it's not that steep of an angle. You know, it would just make it a little bit. You know, maybe a little bit longer you need it but so yeah so let me know what you guys think I mean if you know somewhere that sells a cheap body lift or anything you've ever done to lift your vehicle or something I just don't I don't want to get rid of these rims because that would suck